I would love for someone to explain to me exactly what the plot of The Mandalorian is. Put it down in the comments below. Don't give me a mission. Don't give me a destination. That's not a plot. I want to know what this show is about. Like, what is the story they're trying to tell? I was admittedly not a fan of season one for this very reason. Season one amounted to a bunch of filler episodes to me. It had an adventure of the week formula that never really accomplished anything in its eight episode run. I was hoping that season two might deviate from that formula a little bit in order to keep things fresh. But apparently since they're under the impression that they have some people fooled into thinking this was a good show, they're just going to stick with what they know and do the exact same thing. So the plot of this episode, if you want to call it that, it basically has Mando searching for other Mandalorians who can guide him in his journey to reunite the child with his species. This eventually lands him back on Tatooine where he encounters a marshal who is wearing a Mandalorian armor that is very familiar to Star Wars fans. Mando of course wants the armor and before he can take it, a large creature enters the town. The marshal asks Mando if he will help them kill the creature. In exchange for that, he will give him the armor. Stop me if you've heard this before, but it's another adventure of the week that has little to do with an already non-existent plot. It's good to see that this show is growing, right? Plus I was thinking, wouldn't it be a lot easier to just kill the marshal and take the armor rather than travel into the desert and find this creature that lives in a cave and lure him out and attempt to blow him up? It just seems a bit unnecessary for someone like Mando who is very good at killing. But Mando agrees to the deal anyway because why wouldn't he? They also enlist the help of some Tusken Raiders who also want the beast to be killed. Call me crazy, but I've never known Tusken Raiders to be much for the conversation or the reasoning, at least until this show existed. Ultimately, it all works out and Mando ends up killing the beast and he obtains the armor and leaves. But as he speeds off into the desert, we see a man watching him from a cliff nearby. That man is presumably none other than Boba Fett. I will say it's the same actor who played Jango Fett in Attack of the Clones. So technically it could also be a former stormtrooper because they were clones of him as well. But we're just going to assume it's Boba Fett because that seems like the most logical option. And honestly, this reveal might irritate me more than anything. And it's not because I hate the character of Boba Fett. I love Boba Fett. But this is the same company who didn't want to pull the trigger on a Boba Fett movie that was essentially described as a space western, sound familiar? Deciding instead to create a new character who's very similar to Boba Fett. And then of course you have the old saying by Kylo Ren, let the past die, kill it if you have to. Unless of course you're trying to make up for your incompetence as a creative team, and are in desperate need of an established character to use as fan service. So sure, why not bring in Boba Fett? I'm sure within a couple of episodes, Mando will be a much better bounty hunter than Boba Fett ever was, because you know, Disney. Boba Fett's introduction into this episode basically made me feel like everything else in this show. What's the point? Does any of this, what's going on right now, get us to some kind of endpoint with this show? The answer is not really. It's just another pit stop until Disney decides where it's going. This show doesn't know what it wants to be. It has no identity. I love the Western tropes that it uses, but everything around it just seems so hollow to me. They have flashbacks to when after the Empire fell and basically showing how that affected people on Tatooine. The Mandalorian has done stuff like this here and there, but that's the kind of stuff that's interesting to me. Give me more of that. Give me a reason to care. This formulaic approach that you've taken with this show doesn't really offer anything new. The Mandalorian takes place across the whole galaxy, yet somehow it feels so small. I was hoping for a change of pace with season two, but after one episode, it's just more of the same. More power to you if you like it, but I can't help but think that people are attracted to this show just because it's less shitty than what we've already gotten from Disney Star Wars. On the bright side, they didn't lean on Baby Yoda as much as I thought they would in this episode. But I'm sure they're going to milk that gimmick for all it's worth by the end of this season. We'll see how it all turns out, but honestly, I'm just not impressed. And I really don't understand the hype it gets. So did you see the first episode of season two entitled The Marshal? Let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. As always, please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time right here for another Mandalorian review. Unfortunately, thanks for watching. Peace out.